I, I wish you would talk to your colleagues over there. They ought to hide their heads on a bag. They're in charge of protecting American civil liberties and privacy, and it doesn't matter who you are. And they sat there sucking on their teeth like a bump on a log and never said a word. Shouldn't we check whether they're true? I mean, FBI Director Comey sold this thing for five years. James Clapper was prepared to make a public statement that, that we're not sure if the, if the dossier is accurate, and Director Comey called him and said, no, don't say that. Where were you guys at the board? You're supposed to protect civil liberties. You're supposed to protect privacy. Does it matter whose privacy and civil liberties are being infringed? Selling the Steele dossier. Does that embarrass you? So, so Senator, I think, um, you know... Do you think the Steele dossier is true? It's true either way. I, I, I you don't have an opinion? I mean, I, I don't... I don't, I'm, I don't understand. Yeah. Do you believe it's true or not true? So I, I haven't read the Steele dossier. Franklin, do you know if it, do you have an opinion on whether it's true or not true? I also have not had access to read the dossier, but I can say that I share your concern. Yeah, but I, you I, know if it's true. I'm ask, I, I want to understand where you're coming from. Do you believe it's true or not true? I believe that regarding so Carter Page. you believe Page, it's not true? I believe that the inspector general. So you don't believe the Steele dossier is true? I why is it so hard for you to oh, tell me what you think here? That's pretty basic. I would turn to the rest of those. Well, here's what I'm getting at. I mean, I can tell you all the one answer, and I really, really regret that. I mean, I, this, this to me is, it's not political. These allegations that turned out not to be true, it doesn't matter who they were about, but the, the, some members of our federal government put the full force and weight of the power of the office behind this dossier. And it didn't matter whether who, who they were. I, I can't believe you can't agree with me that it's not true. Uh, Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board. I got that right? Your jurisdiction is pretty broad, isn't it? So the jurisdiction is broad in some ways in that uh, the board has oversight over counterintelligence programs across the intelligence community uh, with regard to privacy and civil liberties, but it's focused on counterintelligence with, or it's focused on counterterrorism, not all privacy and civil liberties issues. Right, right. Okay. I think this is a very important board, but I'm sitting here thinking we spent three, four years with some, some, not all, I'm going to emphasize that, but some, not all, members of our FBI and our Department of Justice selling the Steele dossier. Does that embarrass you? So, so Senator, I think, um, you know, there have been three Inspector General reports with regards to some of the things that went on, and um, I think that the recommendations in them are or a good recommendation. Well, let me ask you this, do you, Ms. Wayne. Do you think the Steele dossier is true? Uh, well, Senator, I, I have no basis to believe uh, it's true or, either way. I, I, I you don't, don't have an opinion? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have any factual basis to know whether or not. I, I do, what I, from what I've read, it sounds like there's some concerns with the way it was procured. I'm, I don't understand. Yeah. Do you believe it's true or not true? So I, I haven't read the Steele dossier, but from, from the news reports, it sounds like there may be falsehoods in it. But again, I don't have personal okay. knowledge of it. Um, Ms. Franklin, do you know if it, do you have an opinion on whether it's true or not true? I also have not had access to read the dossier, but I can say that I share your concern. Yeah, but I, I, you know I, if it's true, I'm gonna ask, I, I want to understand where you're coming from. Do you believe it's true or not true? I believe that uh, the Inspector General of the Justice Department found uh, significant problems in three reports, including 17 significant errors or omissions in right. the FISA applications regarding so Carter Page. you believe Page. it's not true? I believe that the Inspector General found these errors and omissions, which are highly concerning. Do you agree with the Inspector General? I, I find the Inspector General's report very convincing, yes. Okay. 
So you don't believe the Steele dossier is true? I... Why is it so hard for you? Oh, tell me what you think here. That's pretty basic. I would turn to the errors and omissions that the Inspector General did point to, which were significant, and I uh, know that Congress has attempted to take steps to address those. Well, here's what I'm getting at. I mean, I can tell you all the one answer, and I really, really regret that. I mean, I, this, this to me is, it's not political. These allegations that turned out not to be true, it doesn't matter who they were about. But the, the, some members of our federal government put the full force and weight of the power of the office behind this dossier. And it didn't matter whether who, who they were. I, I can't believe you can't agree with me that it's not true. I mean, the, the, there have been three inspectors' general reports. Where, where, where was your agency? Did anybody at your agency stand up and say, wait a minute, before we make all these allegations on the basis of the Steele dossier, shouldn't we check whether they're true? I mean, FBI Director Comey sold this thing for five years. James Clapper was prepared to make a public statement that, that we're not sure if the, if the dossier is accurate, and Director Comey called him and said, no, don't say that. Where were you guys at the board? You're supposed to protect civil liberties. You're supposed to protect privacy. Does it matter whose privacy and civil liberties are being infringed? Either one. So, Senator, I wasn't at the board. I haven't been at the board yet, but I agree with you that that is exactly the role of the Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board, right? Thank to you. Ensure, to ensure that the privacy and civil liberties are, of Americans are taken into account and to make sure that our intelligence agencies are being completely forthright and truthful well, with well, the decision Thank matters. you for that. Well, you were there, Ms. Franklin, right? You no, weren't there? No, no Senator. Okay, no, well, when you, when you both get there, I, I wish you would talk to your colleagues over there. They ought to hide their heads on a bag. They're in charge of protecting American civil liberties and privacy, and it doesn't matter who you are. And they sat there sucking on their teeth like a bump on a log and never said a word.